Okay, so now we are going to use the concept of perimeter to use it in our problems of day-to-day -day lives. So now let us start with this first problem which says that the lid of a rectangular box of size 40 cm by 10 cm is sealed all round with a tape. What is the length of the tape required? Now a little visualization to solve this problem will be helpful. So it is being told that we have a rectangular box. So now let's try to draw the dimensions of this rectangular box. So I'm going to draw the longer sides here and then the shorter side and here we have is a rectangle and let us just give out the dimensions for this so the longer size is 40 centimeter and the other side shorter one is 10 centimeter and we are supposed to find out the length of tape for all sides Now, if I want to tape it out, what we are supposed to do is we have to go all along the, the boundary of this. That is, we go through this whole boundary here and we need to. So the length of the tape is nothing but the, enter, the, the length of the, all the sides of the boundary. So essentially, we are supposed to find out the perimeter. Therefore, we can just say that the length of tape tape equals perimeter perimeter of lid of the box so now since it is a rectangle and we just learned in our earlier sessions that the perimeter of a rectangle is given by twice of length plus width so in our case the length which is denoted by L is equal to 40 centimeters whereas the width which is denoted by W is equal to 10 centimeter. Now we can simply substitute these values in here which will give us 2 times 40 plus 10 which is 2 times 50 or we get this as 100 centimeter. Therefore, the length of the tape that we will require will be 100 centimeter. Now, let us have a look at another problem. A table top measures 2 meter 25 centimeter by 1 meter 50 centimeter. What is the perimeter of the table top? So, as usual, it is a good idea to first make the rectangle. So it helps us to visualize it later on when you are very comfortable in solving these type of problems you may not need to draw the figure it is always a good thing to do that so the, the longer side okay this is not an exactly rectangle but I hope you get the shape so this is 2 meters and 25 centimeters and the shorter side is 1 meter 50 centimeter now the thing is you can see that there are two units that are given here so first what we need to do is we need to convert them into a single unit so what we will do is I mean you can either convert it into meters or you can convert it into centimeters so what I prefer to do is to convert it into centimeters because it is going to be very easy for us to do the calculations later on in this particular case so we know that one meter equals 100 centimeter okay now I can use this to come up with the equivalent centimeter so since we have 2 meters 25 centimeters so 2 meters is going to be 200 meters and 25 centimeter is already there so 2 meter 25 centimeter can be written as 225 centimeters similarly 1 meter 50 centimeters can be written as 150 centimeters okay now now this 
thing is pretty straightforward. If you want to find out the perimeter, it is given as twice of length plus width. And in our case, the length L is 225 centimeter, whereas the width W is equal to 150 centimeter. So what we do is we just substitute these values. So 2 times 225 plus 150 or we have 2 times when I add this, I'm going to get 375. And 2 times 375 is 750 centimeters. Or if you want to write it in meters, we just divide this number by 100 and we get 7.50 or 7.5 meters. Therefore, the perimeter of the tabletop is 7.5 meters. Now let us have a look at one more example. A rectangular piece of land measures 0.7 km by 0.5 km. Each side is to be fenced with four rows of wires. What is the length of the wire needed? So now it is clearly told that we have a rectangular piece of land. So what the first thing we do is we quickly draw our little rectangle here which represents the piece of land and we measure or we label this is 0.7 kilometer and uh, this one the shorter side is 0.5 kilometer now first of all we have these decimals and we would like to simplify it before we go any further so first of all we convert these sides the length and the width into meters now if you recollect one kilometer equals 1000 meters 